So, you are a broke university student who wants to take your petty out on a date, or perhaps you really just need to make some extra money to help pay for your studies. I've been there, I know the struggles. So in today's video, I will share nine unique side hustle ideas for university students to make extra pocket money. And at the end, I will share a secret that could result in your earning potential increasing exponentially. So make sure to stick around for that as well. Now for most of these side hustles, you need little to zero starting capital and you should be able to make money straight away and you also don't need a rich audience. Your target market will mostly be other university students. So the idea here is to try and find problems around campus and then execute on the opportunities to solve these problems for some moolah, of course. Right, so without further ado, let's get started. Now you go to university for a reason, to study, mostly. So if you are a sharp student that gets good marks, offer a tutor service to the students in the year below you. You've already studied all the work and know how they will ask it. So set up individual or group tutor sessions a night or two before the exam to go through all of the important concepts and charge a fee for this. Also, be on the outlook for student tutoring jobs that the university provides. They are often looking for students to present tutorials in various subjects and will pay you per hour to present these. If you excelled academically at school, create a profile on online tutoring platforms like Teach Me Too and select the subjects that you are competent in. They will then notify you once a position opens up and you can either do this in person if you have a car or online using the university's free Wi-Fi. Now I tutored maths as a student and in some months I made more than 5,000 rands. Do a great job and you will get referrals from other tunnies who want their mushy monies to be on the top of their class. Now plugging into tutoring, also consider creating and selling study summaries to other students in your class. I for one was not a great student and oftentimes missed class due to other extracurricular activities. And I can tell you this. It is no fun studying for exam using slides with only headings and pictures. So if you are attending all of your classes, as you should, and you actually pay attention and make notes, as you should, then package it and sell it to the other buggers who did not attend the lectures or who were sitting there sleeping with their eyes wide open. They will be more than willing to pay for it, especially if it means that they will risk failing without it. You can use a free online tool like Canva to create nice summaries, diagrams, flashcards and flowcharts, print them out using the university's printers and then charge whatever you feel it's worth. Now if you are a speed tier or are just passionate about fitness and exercise, then there might be an opportunity to create a fitness program for your mates. Many people who rock up at the gym do not know what they are doing with some having dangerously poor techniques, so you can create workout plans using the equipment available at your gym's uni, and then sell these workouts alongside your personal assistants to show them the ropes. People will pay for an accountability partner, especially if he or she can transform them into a Baywatch babe for the summer. Oh yeah. Now this one might come as a shocker, but many students are too lazy to clean their own rooms which, after a couple of months, kind of becomes a problem. So if you enjoy spring cleaning, then offer to give people's rooms a good scrub for a good price. Chances are you already have all the cleaning material for your own room, and there's usually a broomstick and mop available in each corridor. So if you take a Saturday, you should be able to cover quite a lot of rooms in one go. Adding to this, you can also offer to wash other students' cars. We used to do this as part of fundraising events and we actually ended up making quite decent money. Instead of having to drive to the local car wash to pay 120 bucks, most students would be more than happy to pay you to wash their car in the parking lot. You can start with basic exterior washes and waxing and once you save up some money, buy an extension cord and a vacuum to clean the inside as well. You can even get created and offer a deal where you'll clean someone's room and wash their car once a month. So get creative. 
Now, if you are an animal lover and you own a car, you can offer pet sitting or dog walking services to pet owners in your area. Many people need someone to look after their pets while they're at work or traveling. And seeing like pets are treated like children these days, some pet parents will spend a lot to keep their pet children fit and entertained. I actually ran a very successful pet sitting business with one of my mates during university where we connected other veterinary students to pet owners going on holiday. Now you can sign up as a pet sitter at a local pet sitting company or you can create your own Facebook page and distribute your flyers at local veterinary clinics. Offer a combo where you will stay overnight to look after the house as well as take the dogs for walks. You can easily charge upwards of 250 Rand per night for this type of service and it is really easy to do and fun because you will oftentimes stay in very large places whilst being paid to do so. Now when you move into your dorm room at university as a first year student, you will likely not have many furniture items. There might be a metal bed with a skinny mattress and perhaps a cupboard and desk. But apart from this, you are on your own. Now not everyone is fortunate enough to have their furniture and appliances sponsored by their parents. But then, on the other hand, you will also have final year students moving out of residence who want to get rid of some of their appliances with some being more than happy to give these away for free to whoever is willing to collect and remove them. Now, this is a great opportunity to take these items and then sell them at a discounted price to the first year students who really need them. Also look for abandoned bicycles. We had several of these at my uni that were just rusting away in the weather. Ask the final year students if you can get their bicycle or buy it from them fix it up and then sell it to first year students. You can also look at secondhand shops and places like Facebook Marketplace to find items that students will need and then flip them. There is so much opportunity here. You just need to spot a gym and make it nice and presentable and then put it in front of the right person. Now, if you have mad photography skills and access to a decent camera, you can offer photography services for events such as faculty dances or dinners. As students, you oftentimes only get the opportunity to dress up once or twice a year and these are usually memories that you want to capture and cherish for the rest of your life. So if you can take good pictures of couples before the event and print them out, you should be able to make good money for easy work. Now you don't need a fancy camera, you can even just start with using your phone. Watch a ton of YouTube videos on how to use your specific camera or phone and play around with the different settings at different times during the day. I can promise you, your photos will still come out much better than the blurry selfie that Fricky, who drank too much branas, took of him and his date. And remember, these kids will eventually grow up and get married, so if you can be a half decent photographer, you will probably be the first person that they will consider for the wedding, which is where the big bucks lies. If you have strong writing skills, you can offer your services as a freelance writer or content creator. Many businesses and websites require content for their blogs, websites and social media platforms. So if you have an interest in a specific subject, Google a couple of businesses in that niche and reach out to them to hear if you can create content for the websites. My wife and I owned a pet health blog where we actually hired veterinary students to write some of our articles and we paid them anything between 200 and 400 rand per article. This is rather good money for something that will likely only take you two to three hours to do. You can even take this a step further and offer to manage these businesses social media platforms for them. You already spend five hours a day on social media, don't lie. So instead of consuming, start producing content for other companies, schedule them and engage with their audiences. The owners of these businesses won't have the time to do so and hiring expensive social media marketing agencies is not always possible. You can fill that gap and do what you already know how to do whilst being paid for it. Look for businesses who have crappy logos and those who do not yet have a website or social presence. Use a program like Canva or AI tools to create a killer logo, offer it to them for free, and if you've done a good job, 
chances are they will hire you to improve their marketing material and to run their social media campaigns. You don't have to be an expert, watch a couple of YouTube tutorials and practice as much as you can. And now for the ultimate life hack that you've all been waiting for. Whatever you choose to do on this list, take out your phone, record your journey and post it to TikTok. People are curious beings and content around entrepreneurship, especially among students, tend to perform really well. Do this consistently for long enough and next thing you know, you will have built up an audience that you can now monetize. You may attract the attention of some companies who will be willing to sponsor a product or video in your niche, or you can make some money from affiliate marketing. Share your story with the world, and you might even find that others will support your cause through the goodness of their hearts. Most people would actually like you to succeed and will cheer you on. And honestly, in today's day and age, attention is the new world currency. If you can build a community as a student, then by the time that you graduate, you will have plenty of lucrative opportunities available to make a living. You just gotta press record. Good luck.